The internal appeals process comes into play once you have made an application for disability benefits and you then get a denial letter from the insurance company, or if you have been receiving disability benefits and then at some point the insurance company terminates your benefits. Uh, in both situations, you're left in a spot where you're not receiving benefits and your next step is to engage the internal appeals process. Normally, this will start by you receiving a letter from the insurance company and in the letter, they will specifically say that your benefits are being terminated. They'll give some reasons why. And then usually in the last paragraph or two of the letter, they'll talk about what your options are. And usually they will mention that you can ask for a reconsideration or they will mention an appeals process that you can engage. The internal appeals process comes into play once you have either applied for disability benefits and received a denial letter, or you've been receiving benefits month to month, and at some point you get a letter informing you that the insurance company is terminating your benefits. Stop, they're gonna stop paying them. Now in either case, you are usually given the option to ask for a reconsideration of this decision. Normally you would receive a letter from the insurance company that will, we call it a termination letter or a denial letter. In that letter, they'll give the reasons for the denial, and we'll usually spell out in the last two paragraphs what steps you can take to ask for a reconsideration. Now, the process of getting back to the insurance company uh, to ask for the reconsideration, either by phone or by a letter, that is the internal appeals process. It's, there's nothing really more substantial about it than that. It's very informal. Now, the word appeal simply means that you're asking for a reconsideration. The internal of internal appeal just means that this reconsideration is being done by the insurance company's own employees. This is opposed to you filing a lawsuit and having the reconsideration being done by either a judge or a jury. When you receive the letter from the insurance company that's informing you that your benefits have either been terminated or denied, Take the time to read the letter carefully. Insurance companies are required by law to include in the letter the reasons for why they have cut off your benefits or terminated them. Sometimes uh, when you read the reasons, it, there may be something you can do to provide them with more information, from either yourself or your doctor, that would allow you to get the benefits re reinstated. Now the most common reason that you're going to see in a letter is that the medical information you have provided so far is not enough to prove that you are unable to work at your own job or sometimes in any other job as a result of your medical condition or disability. Now, if you're going to have any hope of success in the internal appeals process, it is important that you provide the insurance company with new information that they had did not have at the first time when they considered your application. The best type of new information is going to be usually a letter from one of your treating doctors. Now, usually what this will mean is you have to ask your doctor to write a new letter, or sometimes they call it a medical report, and send it to the insurance company. Now, there are a reason sometimes why even what you might view as a supportive letter from a doctor, the insurance company may still see that is not enough to prove that you are disabled. The most important thing that you need to see in these letters is that the doctors have to say two things. They have to discuss what medical condition you have that causes a disability. And then the second step is they have to discuss how your disability relates to your specific job duties and then discuss why it is that your condition causes you to be disabled from your job duties. It's usually that second part that doctors don't take the time or don't realize that they're supposed to talk about that insurance companies will say that, well, they're saying you're disabled, but they haven't said that you're disabled from your own job or from doing any other job that would be suitable for you to do. It's important for you to understand that internal appeals are not mandatory. At the time you get the letter denying your benefits or terminating your benefits, you have the right to file a lawsuit. The lawsuit would be against the insurance company for non-payment of benefits. Once you do that, rather than have the insurance company's internal employees reconsider the decision, 
a judge or a jury would be put in the position to reconsider the decision on whether you're entitled to benefits. Now, whether it makes sense for you to do the internal appeal or to jump right into the lawsuit is something that can only be decided on a case-by-case -case basis. I can only say that I've never shied away from my opinion that in the mo vast majority of cases, internal appeals are a complete waste of time. Now, I've seen people get hung up in these appeals for months on end, sometimes years, and with the end result being that they still have to start the litigation process. And then what has happened is they've just delayed things, uh, delayed a final outcome for a couple of years in some cases. Now, in fairness to the insurance company, I have to believe that there have been examples of where people have been successful doing internal appeals and which would work out and would mean that their case was resolved much more quickly. Now, but what I can tell you is that once the insurance company believes that it has a legally defensible uh, basis for denying your claim, it is extremely hard to shake them off of that in the context of the internal appeals. Now I would invite anyone out there who is watching this video that has either been successful in an internal appeal or knows someone that's been successful to either give me a call, an email, or maybe put a uh, comment on the website. We'd be happy to hear from you and hear about what steps you took that led to a success at the internal appeal stage.